Normal methods of concrete construction require construction or day joints, which, in the finished structure, can be a source of leaks. When structural cracking does occur, then remedial measures will be necessary. The first thing to do is to complete a crack injection log sheet. This log serves as a permanent record by documenting all known information on the crack and the injection measures performed. A joint or crack sealing process requires four to five phases, each with several individual procedures. For phases one to three, the individual procedures will vary depending upon the crack or the joint. For phase one, the drill holes must be drilled in accordance with the project requirements. If access is only possible from one side, the drill holes must be in single file. Otherwise, they should be alternated between the left and right sides. It is important that the drilled holes pass through the gap to be sealed at an angle of approximately 45 degrees at the cross-section center. Furthermore, the drilled holes must be completely free from dust and other debris. When inserting the packers, make sure that you do not damage their valve heads and check for firm seating. For phase two, Frank special filler compound can be used to avoid accidental seepage of resin during injection. No injection should take place until the filler compound has fully cured. For phase three, pre-grouting is only required for actively leaking cracks or joints. After thorough mixing, Intectin Blitz is injected several times. Horizontally in a row or vertically from the bottom to the top, until the flow of water is stopped. Intectin Plus has to be injected before the Intectin Blitz has time to cure. To seal dry or moist cracks or joints, use Intectin Plus only. After thorough mixing of the two component resins, several injections should be carried out in accordance with the project requirements until the crack or joint is filled completely. All injection work should be performed at pressures between approximately 20 and 40 bar. Depending upon circumstances, it may be necessary during the injection process to clean off any buildup of resin residue on the impeller mixer and pump using Intectin Special Cleaner. The final cleaning in Phase 4 contributes to the durability of the tools. For Phase 5, grouting residues are removed and the treated surfaces are post-treated cosmetically.